Hi, I'm Marco Caracciolo. Welcome to Health News. A few weeks ago was held in London the Second International Liver Congress. The European Association for the Study of the Liver has issued new guidelines for the treatment of hepatitis C, which recommend that, wherever possible, patients should be treated with the newest detecting antivirals. The guidelines also recommend physicians should mix and match antivirals from different companies to get the most potent regimens. We hope that these this guidelines with its recommendations will move countries forward as they think about how to organize their hepatitis treatment plans. Second, uh, the guidelines are uh, take a public health approach and uh, that's why we were important we were keen to have guidelines throughout the continuum of care recommendations on screening care in addition to treatment in the treatment of hepatitis c the triple therapy is today the one that best ensures high efficacy and sustainability for the public health care system Data from the Italian-Spanish study MPP presented at the Congress confirmed the efficacy and safety of bosepravir in combination with pegylated interferon and ribavirin in patients who respond to treatment in eight weeks. Gilead Sciences presented results from an open-label clinical trial evaluating once daily sofosbuvir for the retreatment of chronic hepatitis C virus infection among patients who fail prior therapy. Data support retreatment with sofosbuvir-based regimen in genotype 2 or genotype 3 infected patients. A new Chinese herbal medicine has significant potential in treating hepatitis C. SBEL1 is a compound isolated from Chinese herbal medicines that was found to inhibit ACV activity by approximately 19%. SBEL1 is extracted from an herb found in certain regions of Taiwan and southern China. In Chinese medicine, it is used to treat sore throats and inflammations. So, this was the last news. Goodbye.